What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another reaction to you, season four. This time we got season five, and it was part of that like part one finale and stuff. And I'm excited, obviously, for this episode to check it out. Um, the way last episode ended, if you guys didn't watch my reaction, obviously crazy. Um, obviously, with uh, finding out that like pretty much Kate just killed Gemma. Um, you know, uh, not gonna lie, that that girl deserves some sort of karma, but I don't know about Beth, but. Um, Kate, you know, you start. We're starting to see some parallels with almost love in a bit, where you know she is ruthless. You know, what I mean, she will kill um, and stuff like that. So I don't know if this was an isolated incident by her, uh, but it leads us to believe that you know she's done something like that. She was talking about her dad, you know, screwing people over and stuff like that. So that she wants to separate herself from that. But yet she did something that was technically bad, but you know, somebody that you know wasn't a good person clearly. Um, but I'm wondering to see what the aftermath of that is and you see like Joe and her like starting to connect a lot And you know, he's like, oh, no, no, I can't do this. I gotta find you. It's like, okay Well, we all know this is gonna happen didn't always be that like cause it hasn't like went as fast as the other seasons with that But because like, the other seasons you pretty much know early on but with this Just happened and it, it, it's interesting that royal guy it was pretty interesting not gonna lie i can never say his name properly but uh he was weird that last episode be interesting to see how he reacts to this um and they just gotta get out of that like freaking british countryside for god's sake Jeez, just not a good place to be uh and and because also it is a finale of that part one i'm guessing something crazy is gonna happen this one is called the fox and the hound so i don't know it sounds almost like kate and kate and joe i don't, I don't know um maybe it is I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a little prediction, you know what I mean? But I'm excited to see, obviously, what we end up seeing. Uh, there's obviously, I'm hoping, obviously, going to get the back to London, and we'll, and we'll see what happens next, obviously. It's, it's a reoccurring theme that somebody dies each episode. So, yeah, and uh, which elitist douchebag will be next at this point? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? We got Malcolm. We got Simon. Then we got the bodyguard. And then we got now Gemma. So we'll see what's next here. And might as well get into it. Uh, I did react to the first four episodes, by the way, if you guys are interested in checking it out. But with that, let's get started. So at this point in the video, I want to shout out Movie Palette. They've been featured on Cosmopolitan, People's Magazine, etc., etc. They do canvases. They make canvases based on your favorite films. Uh, they send me Revenge of the Sith. And pretty much what they do is in chronological order, uh, they take scenes from films and they pretty much, and, and they put it in this order based on the colors of the scenes and stuff like that. And um, if y'all remember, obviously in Revenge of the Sith, Anakin versus Obi-Wan, I'll have it up here. And you can see how it translates to here. Um, like with obviously right over here, all those dark colors of Mustafar in the lava. Uh, you can see that right there, it's, it's obvious, right? And then even obviously Order 66 executing around here. It's just super cool. As somebody who's a huge movie fan and especially Star Wars. But if you guys want to get one for yourself, uh, there's ton, they do tons of sales all the time if you're interested. You can add another 15% off uh, by using my code off the rip 15 uh, pretty much at checkout. You can obviously get yourself one of these for your home and it's perfect. Uh, you can get it all different sizes and stuff like that, whether you don't want one this big or whatever. You got options, stuff like that. And uh, not to waste any of y'all's time, I just wanted to shout out Movie Pout again. Thank you so much for sending me this and let's get back right into the video. Just sitting there. I wonder what like happened. Like I want to see like what actually happened in the I've moment. Been like here before. Okay. See, that's what I'm saying. The parallels. Of course, this woman I've somehow fallen in with would be you. <laughs> Dude, like blood everywhere. Like <laughs> shit. Definitely gruesome. I just need to think. If you're the only person who heard, then I think we have a minute. Everything you did up to <laughs> and including what I see now was was to manipulate me. I love his face in the narration. I can't call for help because that would involve security. She doesn't like security, remember? She's telling him to get the hell out. Fathers. Jonathan, I told you what kind of man he is. You make him sound like oh. take care of this. This. Th this. True. My friend who has been killed you have to be joking he he would own me as wow. in, i don't seize the first opportune moment i have to turn around and pin it on you and i don't abandon you either wow fine bro like you can't turn around to somebody like it's bullshit this is already like just getting fucked up I like confirm it's really you i can do what needs to be done Oh, Jim, Damn. You're an absolute muppet, but you didn't deserve this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kate. Absolute muppet. Kate. Who the hell? Oh, Phoebe. Oh, 
Oh, because she's seen Adam with the dude. Yes, I forgot. Oh my god. They were talking, but I can't shake the energy between them. Maybe we could talk about this later. It's not that I care if they're shagging. Feeling that Adam's hiding a piece of his heart from me. Because he is. Oh. Sorry, Adam, yeah. but we need her out. Just <laughs> I think there might be some things that he's embarrassed to tell you about. Nothing wow. Else. Gonna spill the secrets. A kink. Bingo, thank you. Please go now. <laughs> what do you mean, what is it? <laughs> Please go now. <laughs> Peeps, I adore you. But you need to leave so that Jonathan and I can fuck. <laughs> hey. Wow. Silly me. Dead weight is the worst. Oh! That seriously just happened. Oh my. Fuck. Do you have another idea? Damn, bro. Just like dead. Like, dead weight. Like. Bro, no. Thank you, rolled. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> she's yeah, dead, anyways, right? I think I need to go back to therapy. How are you this good at what? aging bodies? Who are you? Really? What? Easy, easy, just Did you kill Gemma? What? Is your plan to kill me too? What? Manipulating me into hiding her body. You really believe that I want to kill you? Wait, she didn't kill? What you just did is exactly what a killer would do. After my first night at Sundry House, I woke up. Yeah. And I found Malcolm. On my table. Whoa! With a knife in his chest. Stop! I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, but I got. Whoa! To that there was no way that anyone would believe that I didn't do it, so I took care of it. What? You He's actually me. saying this? Please don't make me relive the details. I've been trying to forget them ever since. Holy shit! Because whoever did this has been sending me messages. Damn. I think she really should believe him. My continued silence. But in the end. I had to run away. Hey, you change your name. Me. My son. Damn, yo, she, she like, she'll buy this shit completely. Whatever. Yeah, knife down. I thought if I could stay close enough to you and your mm -hmm. friends that maybe I could keep more people from getting hurt. A lot of good that's done. So you were trying to protect me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you're be like turned on from that shit. I think so. You must share everything with each other. Same page, completely. So what is it? <laughs> Shall I peck you? What? Oh no! They... Oh, he she didn't get it. The kink with uh, men. No. Cake sitting? Oh god. Not that weird falling down the stairs fetish, is it? Gone showers? You should just go with it, I think. Honestly. Can I ask why this appeals? In your eyes and look at me. I just, I don't want it to burn. Oh, shit. Piss on me. Bad luck. Oh, shit. She, she caught on. You don't want this. It's not you. It's about the person. Being beneath me, but then at this moment. Oh, that's weird. Above you. What? Yeah, literally above. Like. But it's not a big deal. You want to do some begging? Let's do some begging. It is a big deal, Adam. No, stop, stop. I. I love you. Maybe I love uh, you. Oh, you saying that? <laughs> it's for your sake. As well as mine. Oh shit! He, his safety bag is gone. What? Rip at him, yo! He's screwed now. Oh shit! That door was open. It's over. Wait, Phoebe. What the fuck? I need to kill a little snitch ass spy named Jonathan Moore. Damn, yeah, I just like Jonathan. You know he's fucking Kate right now. Oh! 
So where are the other degenerates? Oh my god. In the drawing room, snogging. I saw oh, this guy. Upside. He was downstairs going outside. Ooh. Yo, we're on. He's alone upstairs. So, Gemma is in the game larder. Temporary. Wait, what? That feels karmic almost. Wait, she said it? You know she used to get a driver to run over pheasants for fun. Now she... Damn. She's in tune with them. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so relieved it wasn't you. I would die without you. We will do it properly, and the same cannot be said for the others. Do you agree? Yeah, no kidding. Can't tell anybody else. Had no choice with her right now. We don't want anyone else getting hurt, and, and we need privacy to deal with whatever's next with the body. We. We will go. I need to be able to kill the murderer with my fur teeth if they attack you. <laughs> I don't know. How, how is she not the killer, though? For a moment, I, I really believed it was Jonathan, the killer. What? Ironic. Yeah. I'm so glad you were wrong. Mm. And I'm so, so glad I'm not Benzos. <laughs> there it is. Oh, no. Yo, he went fast. Gotta be kidding me. How's he gonna get out of this one? Shit. The bastard killed Gemma. I found him in the game ladder with her body. Bro, he didn't, though. Bro. Where's Phoebe? She's fine. She and Kate already know. They're off sending the staff home and mustering security. Which you don't want, so you're taking matters into your own hands because you've been worried this whole time. I couldn't have. What about you, Roald? Oh. He hated Malcolm. Jonathan, when you stabbed yeah. Malcolm, did he deflate like a hot air balloon? Bro, what the hell? Side blessings, pathological inability to take anything seriously. <laughs> I'm not finished. You'll be interested in this one, Sophie. After Simon's show, all of us were at the party. Except huh. for who? <laughs> Bro, like they're showing like the whole fucking like the, the whole sequence happening. The murder started when he came. Oh. Oh come on. <laughs> what the Sorry to interrupt, I'm just hiding out a moment. Like they acted out these these whole like murder sequences in different ways. What are you doing here? Absolute perv. This is ridiculous. Why would I want to kill any of them? Because you're obsessed with Kate. Unfucking believable. <laughs> oh my god. Own motive. <laughs> Literally said his motives. In your camera, all of your creepy little photos of Kate. <laughs> I'm an artist. Oh. I'm rather desperate to conflate that with a dirty little stalker like What about the panties and shit? What the hell is that? Roll has this wrong. Everything he's saying. No, enough! Bruh. By the power vested in me by God and Emperor. No. Somebody's gonna get in the way. Sentence you. Somebody's getting in the way right now. To death. Wait, what's gonna happen right now? Something gonna happen right now. You're not serious. Maybe he is serious. Don't shoot him in the drawing room, world. At least let Phoebe vouch Get her for name out of your mouth. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Boom. Dropped at him. Get fucked. Sit tight. I'm going peasant hunting. Bro, look at this guy, yo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Dude, they actually got like the drone footage, too. That's crazy. Out into the British countryside. Now that is low. Boom, let's go. Dude, I didn't even expect it. Okay. No, gun, gun's a little far away. Come on, Joe. Gotta kill somebody else now. Damn, that knocked him out? Okay. Scrappy Save son it. of a bitch. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? What? 
Reese. No, is he the killer? Yo. Bro, I knew it, man. Too nice, that guy. Well, they didn't fit the decor, so to speak. It's quite possible Lady Phoebe doesn't even know it exists. It's Bro. you. It has to be him. It's been it. you. Come on, admit it, admit it. I just... I couldn't take any chances. It's very hard to predict your mood sometimes. I missed it. What? Of the people. We should have known it. You need to be there, bold. You have to be brilliant and know it. He's a neo-fascist with a knife collection. I mean, that camera. Ooh, upskirt. Yeah. Kate. I've seen it. It's obsessive, isn't it? <laughs> what the hell is this? This is weird. Oh, spoiled, violent little shit on this earth. You really are the eat the rich killer. You hate them. One less person. So he's not trying to get at him, One or like. Survival. You have me all wrong, but the only path I see out of this is to make yeah. you believe I'm in. Thank right? You for intervening. It was looking hairy, and you're right. I've been so eager to yeah. meet you. I'm glad. We're what the? Talking. Yeah, he's eating it up, so I guess. I'm gonna do this. Well, that's up to you. Wait, are you? I'm sorry, are you not gonna let me out? <laughs> Be done by the time I get back. What? Yeah, the problem is they won't find him there. Shit. Reese. Matros. A good man in a cruel world. Sean. I just oh. think it could be easier if I go free. Killing a man while chained to a pillar. Is an unreasonable ask, Chris. But he's the only way, and you know it. What? This is so fucked up. Like, you're crazy. It's a shame. Clearly, you're not the man I hoped you were. I did have a plan A. Before I knew who you were. Just don't work out with the person the way you dream, you know. If you're clever hmm. enough to get yourself free, I'll see you back in London and we can revisit these. Oh. Otherwise, goodbye, Joe. Threatening him. Oh my! What the fuck have you done to me? How did we get in here? Now is not the time for questions, bro. Now they work together now. <laughs> oh, thank God, now me, Jonathan. No. Jonathan, don't leave me. Yo, he's an old, like, big ass favor, is that? There you go. Now, now he owes this guy big time. Now, holy shit! Yeah, because they're still locked in, right? What? Kate actually? Wow. Wow, eh? Yo, Kate to the rescue. Yeah, it looked like it was, that's where the smoke's coming from. So he was like literally right there the whole time. Like, that's crazy. How did Reese manage that? That's crazy. Now's not the time for this. Damn, there goes that hell, hell, hell hole of the house. Like, Dunzo. Over. I thought Back to London. Be over by the time I returned to London. But I suppose I should be grateful to be alive. Oh. Kate. Look who it is. Hey. Since your uh. things burnt up, I figured you could use some new clothes. They're just Wow, look at that. Things Malcolm never even took the tag off of. I hmm. <laughs> I owe you a pint. What ten? That's it? Walk with me to the pub. Is Kate Galvin trying to ask me out? If you're not I think so. busy, I wouldn't hate the company. It's dangerous yeah. for her to know anymore. I wish I could. <laughs> oh, no. Rejection. Seriously, it's... It's a pint, Jonathan. I think we both... Where's the door? It's not. 
And would that be so heinous? I don't want to hurt you. Damn, she like changed. She flipped one eighty, eh? The real me. Okay. I can't. I'm sorry. Damn. Captain That's tough. Fucking America. <laughs> Jeez. I've never met anyone like Kate Galvin. In another world, another life. Yeah. I would. Okay, end it like that. Her. It's a tragedy. What? With the eat the rich killer is a manifestation of a large Meal. populist anger. Me all these guys on TV talking about it. You stand with a foot in both worlds. Such a bullshitter. And the aristocracy. Stand what the great people of this city need. Oh my god. Oh no. There's something in. There's an underlying message there. By killing off right there. One by one. Yeah. Oh. It is with great pride. But with great huh. humility that I, Reese Montrose, officially announced the uh -huh. land of the sea. What? The mayor of London. You're Bruh, right. power? Big plans for this city. And if you give me your vote. I promise you won't be Bruh. tired anymore. Well, I didn't expect that. That was a Whatever twist. Big plans are. I need to stop you before you hurt another soul and drag. <laughs> Dude, Joe's gonna stop stop guy from being the mayor of I London, know England. You really are now, Reese. That's crazy. And I'm coming for you. Damn! What a what a cliffhanger. That's an interesting one. Definitely feels like um like the end of a part or a story, part of a story in general. All right. So wow, very good episode. Wow, lots of twists and turns. Um, very, very good. Uh, it was interesting. Obviously, the reveal of Reese as the guy who is you, um, in this case, uh, was pretty interesting. I think, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I should have expected it. I think it was like, it was, I kind of did. Like, if you buck watch the reactions of the first few, it's like, this guy's too nice. He's like the one guy that, like, you really like, right? And it's like, it just, it's too, it's too easy. And straight up, we found out in this episode, which I didn't really expect. So that kind of segues way into almost another mission now. Like, the first, Part of the season seemed like it was like a mission to go find this guy who's fucking with Joe, obviously. Then now it's gonna try and stop him from becoming the mayor of London now. So that's how they they end that cliffhanger though. But in general, um, throughout the episode, like the part with uh, Royal, like I wonder if he's gonna help now, like Joe and Kate, or in some way or something like that. That'll be interesting. I'm guessing Joe didn't even tell Kate yet about Reese and like, and obviously Thing doesn't know about Reese either. So it's like. I mean, it, it's complicated. It's a complicated situation. So I, I, I don't know. And he just rejects her at the end. You know, she's all over him, all over. Not you. She's not intoxicated now. Totally sober. Still, still like that. That's crazy. She's so, so closed off usually. But with him, they have that connection. Obviously, um, that rejection. It's not gonna end up being that. To what extent it goes, it'll be interesting. And I'm still wondering with Marianne. Like, where's Marianne playing to this? Did they really just show that the first episode and that's it? That's gonna play a part in this end of the season for sure. Don't I I I don't have any doubt about that. Like it has to, it has to. Like there's there's no way. You know what I mean? And uh, even yeah, just throughout the episode, uh, I actually thought Kate killed Gamma. So I guess so. It, it was Reese in general. So I, I don't know. I just thought oh well, maybe it was her. She just lost on her because she had reason to. She was like saying shit too about about her. So I thought maybe oh she just lost in like a rage or something like that. But it wasn't her. So um you know so maybe she's not she's not as bad as you know you would have thought i would have thought for a second where i was like oh here we go love love 2.0 over here so it wasn't it had to be reese and tried to frame her or him and everything and and the weird thing even about that whole interaction too with reese like the reveal was like he was like kind of like oh no like let's work together if it's like you kill him like it was weird like it was something like straight up like she's like she's a psycho right like you know like takes uh takes like uh like advice from what he's seen and it looked like so pretty much he was gonna this was his kind of goal and he was gonna use him to do that and then when he found out all those things about him that's when he was just like okay i'm gonna make a little different it's gonna be simply just frame him so kind of messed up very messed up and stuff and you kind of just it, it, the season's really going going at the elitists and stuff and how much they're like idiots i swear like holy shit is that is how it actually is like the the elitist like kids like who are technically elitists as well God, is that how it actually is? That's unbelievable. At least in London, that's that's how it'd be. But no, it was very good finale um, of part one, kind of. Uh, it was it was good. Um, definitely close off a story um, and going in another direction now. 
Um, a lot of people dying like crazy, uh, lots of it. But I think uh, it'll be interesting where we go next exactly. Like, how do we get that to, to that ending? I heard the the whole season is pretty crazy at the very end. I, I've seen headlines, but luckily I didn't see any spoilers. But um, I suspect I did hear for sure that there's one final season, season five, and that's it. So there's a confirmation for that. So I know this is not going to be the end, which is nice. But um, yeah, it was it, it was an interesting episode. You know, it was solid. I, I enjoyed it. Um, and uh, definitely very exhilarating. You know what I mean? Uh, back to the, the, the like, e even like the scene with Kate and, and Joe, like with the, when when she was like putting a knife to, to his neck and, and he was like, um, uh, he had, he pretty much fast that, you know, like he disposed of Malcolm, which was crazy that he actually said that he gave up the son and stuff. I think the son's name was Henry. I think yeah, that was, I was trying to remember. It was trying to come to me. I was thinking about all the other shows I watched, but um, I think that's what it was. And, um, and that was like a really good scene, very good acting. It was, it was good. Penn Badgley is, he's amazing. He, he is, he is an amazing actor. It's crazy. Even this Reese guy, like put on a good, uh, put on a good show right there at the end on his little time and stuff that he had and stuff. Very fake and very pol politician like, honestly, especially with that interview and stuff. And cause he's supposed to be like an author or something like that. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, obviously, I don't know. Like, it, cause it's like, it's weird. Cause it's like, I, I kind of like the dynamic of this season cause it's different. Usually it's like, Joe going through everything and, and it never ends up being what well what he wants it to be and he always going through his like he's technically the predator I guess and now he's the prey truly he truly is now he's got to go stops somebody <laughs> which is great it's it's a totally different and I kind of like it you know what I mean it I mean this season's definitely not been one of my favorites but I, I do like the, the change because it can't be the same shit all the time so yeah no I did like it though I pretty much don't want to ramble on too much longer um in terms of episode rating I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten solid. I think it was better than the last couple episodes for sure. Uh, it was at a perfect length for me. It was like not too low of a length, but not too high. The last episode was um, a little too much for me. It was it was very long, but it was good and entertaining, obviously to a certain degree. But no, it was a it was a great episode though, guys. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of this part one finale of you season four. What do you think about the Reese reveal um, as like obviously the the eat the rich killer as they're calling it. Uh, what do you think about like that this storyline kind of closing going on what do you think about kate and joe uh what do you think about marianne you know what i mean at this point of watching the season what were you thinking about marianne and everything and just curious to hear what you all have to say and don't forget if you did enjoy this reaction leave a like comment subscribe turn on that notification bell down below as well stay tuned for the rest of the reaction gonna try and power them through as fast as i have time for so uh stay tuned for these i'm trying to finish this, this is the one series that i had in, on on the back burner that i definitely wanted to finish so yeah, hopefully you all are enjoying it at least. I'm definitely doing a bunch of other stuff too. So if you want to check that out on the channel, you'll be notified with the bell too. So yeah, but overall, great finale to like the first half of the season. Um, I liked it. I definitely see why it was like kind of crazy. And then what people had to wait a month. Uh, I definitely see that. And, uh, and yeah, and the fox and the hound, truly. <laughs> and stuff like uh, Royal was saying. So um which was uh yeah interesting i, I don't know where they're necessarily going to go with this which is kind of cool like we know like what the end result what he has to do but it'll be interesting to see how we get there uh, through the course of the last five episodes so yeah but with that guys appreciate y'all for tuning into another reaction i'll catch you in the next one peace